All right, hello, hello. I'm just calling out Pisces, Pisces, Leos, and Aquarius, okay? Uh, I don't know if it's for you. <laughs> oh, I left the charms from the last one. Okay, that's okay. I think it's fine. It's very beautiful. I didn't put a zodiac sign in that last one. I pulled a lot of Sagittarian and Libra energy, but um, stuff about friendship. So I'm going to start with, so it was literally 229. So leap year, Pisces, maybe in particular, or something to do with that. Uh, even how that day went for you, which for some reason, for me, it was intense. It was, oh, leap year, Sagittarius, Libra even. Okay, um, I also saw 809. Um, so Leo, Sagittarius, or yeah, maybe some Scorpionic too. And um, definitely there was Aquarian energy too. Started with Aquarian energy, even like one, two, six, one, two, seven. Okay, two, three, um, and two, five. Okay, so this time, so I'm working with the, the Oceanic Tarot. It's new unboxing. Well, I've already unboxed it. So this will be actually the second time um, so pulling in a lot of the mermaids and the charms that I left here. Um, I'll probably get more charms, but I grabbed the zodiac cards this time. So I'll probably put in zodiac signs and underneath it was Pisces energy as I brought the deck over. So hello to the Pisces or oh, you're dealing with that. It's Piscean air sign too. Wow. So Libra, uh, Aquarius. 2-5, even Aquarius. Whoa, I see 2-25, so even Christmas time. So maybe some Capricorn or Sagittarian 2-7. Um, let's see, Saturn's underneath. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, let's see what this one is too. 1925. Oh, my goodness. Guys, I'm my, this like my grandma birth year or something. How cool is this? Uh, also... <laughs> 125 Aquarius is um, 719 Leos a 7 1 even um, what else do I see 319 Piscean 325 even some Aries energy 37 Pisces okay oh wow 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 so um I don't know if you can see the charms I have here but I pulled these charms like I said in the last video so maybe there's something there for you i didn't put a zodiac sign in it but working with the mermaids um i brought up sagittarian energy there's about friendship generosity uh the white apple was there the two hearts the star hope healing about generous a uh, gratitude and stuff like this um there was the broken heart as well and maybe even needing to ask for help or someone even okay well, I brought in some other stuff <laughs> as well in that particular video, the sea turtle and then the ammonite. And then we've got the red sea salt and red, uh, I almost said coralline, maybe red coral Hmm, would be interesting to work with. Oh, okay. As I'm getting into this water energy of the mermaids. Okay. So first and foremost, I'm going to get a couple of zodiac signs or planets for whom to put in the title for this particular video. All right, some of them, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm giving it a try, just like titling it. Oh, wow, I see Aquarius there. Hello, Aquarius. You are like the first sign for reals, for reals, for reals. I'm going to put you here. Nah, I'm all, nah. Maybe you're even, there's, um, I was going to say, it is uploading my last video with the, the healing waters right now. It's been processing forever, and I was like, what? and it was like a 20 minute video. So something maybe even going on online. Mercury and Uranus. 620, 622. I'm seeing 2015 and 2022. So I'm expected, no way. Uh, uh, this is um something we didn't anticipate or expect even with this type of communication. So it's there's disruption even going on, maybe online stuff even. Oh yeah, in 2022. Also see 420. Um, and 206 and 22 Aquarius is, or yeah, Pisces, Aquarius, so, yeah, 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 you know, I'm all, you know, let me, okay, okay, wow, so one more, one more sign, oh, this is too many, 
the moon energy, Capricorn, Jupiter. Okay. Wow. So uh, I also see some Libra energy. Um, so maybe even Capricorn moon in particular, that would make sense as well. And that is your, you know, the flow. So I brought up Capricorn there, Sagittarian as well. And the Libra 1018, 1014, 105, 14 Capricorns, 18 Capricorn, um, 910. Huh. Okay, so here we go. Moon energy. So this is also Piscean energy, right? Cancer sign as well. But the emotions pulling in the moons. And maybe some of you also have that Sagittarian. Uh, I mean, Cancer sign moon maybe as well. Very specific. Um, let me see. Aries moon. A Leo moon. Wow. So we got also 910. So Virgo somewhere in this. <laughs> And 1018 Libra or 109, 18, 10, 9. Capricorn by this sea turtle. I have to say the weirdest thing I was noticing. Like I, there's a big slowdown. Wow. Aquarius and Capricorn. Interesting. So this wisdom and abundance. I'm even just going to kind of set it over here. Jupiter's. This is good luck even. Something happening. Maybe during that time even. So let me look. I also see there's, a, a um, like I said, Aquarius. There's even Scorpionic. 11, 14, 11, 5, 11, 10, 11, 18, 11, 9, 2, 14, Aquariuses, 2, 10, 2, 18, 2, 9. So lots of different. There's a, this is abundance of wisdom and stuff like this. So this, okay, here we go. And then there's fire signs underneath there. So whether you're... I mean, I figure if you're pulled into this, then you are an Aquarius or a Capricorn sign, right? And maybe you're dealing with those other signs, that Sagittarian, Leo, uh, Aries. There wasn't as much Aries energy. That's that's definitely for sure what I was sensing. And I also the Mars. So, oh, it's Sagittarian under there. There could even be some passion or anger even. Oh, but there's definitely Sagittarian, or I mean Virgo energy, 916, 917, 823 for, um, yeah, a lot of Virgo. Interesting. <laughs> there's a lot of Virgo with the power sign, whatever is going on with this, okay. Virgo maybe in their chart, or this is a time frame. All right, we're getting the Oceanic Tarot. This is Jane Wallace. Uh, this is the second time. So if you wanted to see the unboxing, maybe you watched it already and you wanted the, the reading for you guys. I'll probably maybe even pull in the Hidden Truth Oracle. I do want to get charms to see if it gives more um, incorporating. I, I decided I'm going to leave, like I said, the... You don't see the charm. I should double check the camera. Hopefully you can see everything lovely. You will move it a little bit. Bringing it around a little front. All right, hopefully you can see it all. Capricorn, you clear over here. I'm like twisting my back. Okay, what time is it? 8.29, 8.30. Okay, here we go, 8.30. You know, so some of you, like I said, those are all the other signs you're dealing with. I just pulled these out. There's one stuck in there. This is kind of a, a sideways box, right? So, whoa, the hanged men and the world, the Virgos, the Virgos, okay. Uh, this is the Oceanic Tarot. Here we go. This is, like I said, the second time. This is in limbo, but it's in reverse. Oh, the, this is a completion. So this is action time even. So I'm seeing like, what I'm seeing in reverse here with this Virgo energy, there's also some Scorpionic with this world. Let me look at the date, the times on this. 12, 21, no way. So that even that Sagittarian energy, I'm seeing it as gaining, that this is a new chapter. The world is a completion of something and it's a brand new beginning, a brand new chapter. <laughs> and this is interesting. I am going to still put it back in the deck and, and shuffle it out. Okay, those ones were just there. I shuffled a whole bunch before I put them back. We'll see if, uh, I don't know if I'll need to read out of the book. It's, like I said, this is still new. Very nice. Magician, the fool. 14, 15, 515, maybe Taurus energy. So I'm jumping in to try something new. 
uh, and having everything to create what they want, even. Transformation, death under there. Yeah, that's Scorpionic. Okay. Now, I don't know that I will timestamp for specific for Aquarius uh, and Capricorn. I'm going to put the moon in. I don't know that I'll necessarily put the Cancer sign or, um, or Piscean in the title. But you might have that in your chart and still be drawn. Okay, so Pisces, Cancer, is you watching as well. Um, this should be able to correlate actually for for you completely that there are Aquariuses and and uh, Capricorns. But when I give specifics, you know, like if you have a certain moon and I'm pulling into that energy or you're dealing with that, unless you know like the full chart of the people in your life, their rising and moon. Normally I'm going off of their birth dates or years get spotlighted. Um, and sometimes it can be really interesting because sometimes it can be like address number house and weird things like that. We'll just see. See 1114 and there's 1410, 510. So there is some Taurus energy too. Okay. For Aquariuses, what does the mermaids have for Aquariuses who are drawn in to listen? Wow, so the Ten of Wands, so a big responsibility, feeling a heavy burden. And maybe this is even um, a masculine energy. And um, maybe they're in Sagittarian or Scorpionic. 11, 10. Feeling like this is a heavy burden, a huge responsibility, doing all this work. And why? now we've got the seahorse here as well. And this is also about sharing responsibility. And I'm seeing it like it's almost like blocked. This is, there's two different ways I can read this. Because responsibility with seahorse is about family and about even um, fathering fatherhood. The father takes over and helps with the babies, the children, stuff like that. Okay. And, and maybe that there isn't someone else stepping up and helping with that. But this is, someone feels like they're doing all this work. You or them, okay? Let's find these true emotions. Okay, what do we got for this moon energy? The hermit, contemplation, right? And even kind of looks in that. So like I said, we're pulling, wow. I see 10, 9, 109, even Capricorns. But that Virgo energy, and you got two here. So interesting. So this is taking time alone, even you know what, when you really, and maybe at the full moon even, and like I'm going to say, so now I can see some of you could be Capricorn moon signs, potentially um, Virgo with Capricorn or Virgo moon even, and that's why it's so spotlighted. But taking this time away to do your own healing. I love how, oh my goodness, um, this is so cute. Um, in this cave here, you know, this merman, uh, has he's just hanging out he's not alone though he has the jellyfish but jellyfish have no brain is not that weird they have no brain jellyfish are cool though but he, they're dangerous too right i mean they're beautiful to look at but they can you know they sting you you can get caught up into and maybe that's why even there's some healing or something usually to me the hermit energy is about releasing emotions and it's I think the normal human thing is that we um we do this alone for the most part you know what I mean um it makes other people feel uncomfortable too you know <laughs> okay so Capricorn I see 10 10 1 10 even um, 9 10 but destiny the will of fortune this is even understanding the ebb and flow to what comes up must come down but it's on a good cycle this is a good flow of there there's abundance with this will of fortune it's up you know following the right path um getting good guidance and that's even for your moon energy so that could also be for you if you pisces dealing with virgos right or something like this and or the cancer send these emotions. All right, Capricorn, I look under there and I see order. Ooh, the king of the ocean, which is, I believe, supposed to be the emperor, but it's in reverse. 
Huh. The Queen of Pentacles, kindness. Feminine is upright. Um, kindness with the turtle. Look, even. I love how I put the Capricorn right here. This is a feminine Capricorn for sure. Maybe Virgo or the Taurus because I have brought them both up. But being generous and giving... Um, even gifts and making things beautiful and knowing how to create and understanding the earth. There's the water energy with it too. So that Piscean, the Cancer sign. Um, very beautiful. I'm seeing both has dark hair. The king is in reverse though. And maybe I'm, this is supposed to be the emperor. Both green. A lot of green. Okay, I went to do another art project. I brought up... And I put like three different blues in it thinking I'm going to make some ocean colors. And it came out so blue. Or I mean, excuse me, so green because I put like this lime green. And I'm like, look at it. It all matches. I didn't even intend it to be this way. And then there's the yellow. And it actually kind of looks like that. But minus the pink in that little swirl. Interesting. The Will of Fortune. Okay. So there is also other Capricorns. Virgos um, and Taurus feminines that are not in that same um, flow of abundance and being generous and giving because I just shuffled it and now I see underneath and so I'm giving clarification that not all right so this really talks about the earth sign and this is about not being generous and actually feeling in a lack of not having enough so there's wisdom and abundance here I'm seeing, oh, there's sadness. Try, someone was feeling depressed or sad and trying to um, get out of a depression type energy. Okay. One, two, three. All right. I want to get one more specific thing for the Capricorns. I, don't worry, Aquarius. I'm coming back around to you. We're going to find out what this big responsibility maybe you feel like you've got to take you're taking this all on and it's interlinking with these different signs okay capricorns what else for capricorns the moon oh my goodness the illusion so this is also the secret energy too and maybe it's capricorn moons like this is even your opposite potentially the lobster was talked about a lot about even how there's growth through um shedding um the sea otter so the big full moon is real spotlighted for you guys 15 16 17 18 10 18 oh my goodness uh I, sorry i'm looking at the cards i see 10 10 plus i see 10 18 so there's a lot of this libra energy whether you're dealing with them um maybe that's your moot your moon sign or something like this even um but there is some illusion and some secrets these are hidden maybe you're unsure of some of this <laughs> oh, but all i can tell you is i see 10 18 two times and 10 10 we also have 9 10 um yeah and the jupiter's 18 so also abundance wisdom learning new things so also there could be sagittarian um maybe jupiter is conjuncting your moon or something there is careful of illusion right uh, and that's that piscean energy uh, anything else about this moon energy oh seven of swords oh there is something sneaky oh there's some illusion deception potentially i see seven eight Queen of Wands. I'm looking under the deck. So if we're bringing up... Uh, so I'm bringing up mainly Sagittarian energy, right? Um, this is feeling like someone was sneaky. This is theft. Feeling a loss. Um, maybe they stole something. Seven of Swords. And uh, seven, six. So maybe even Cancer sign energy. The Queen of Wands is upright. Maybe this is something that happened in the past. Or someone from your childhood... I mean, there's two different seahorses here. And there's even two different partners, two different um, fathers. Or, you know what I mean? 
two different fathers. Someone from the past, Six of Cups, Queen of Wands, the Sun. So maybe even Leo, a child and judgment. Someone got a second chance, 620. Well, I'm pulling a lot of the, that Cancer sign energy too. And Leo with this Queen of Wands. There's happiness here, even with children. There's so much Leo. So this Queen of Wands, this feminine is... Hmm. There's happiness with this. This Leo. Um, maybe, and they could be a child, or you have a child also. The sun and the strength. Having stability, loyalty, and patience. And maybe some of you, they're even a child. They're bringing joy. And even reflecting on your own childhood, or your own children... Or when they were younger, something and bringing you some happiness and joy. And getting a second chance at coming together. The conch cell, judgment, self-reflecting. Why was there seven of swords? So, there was something sneaky about that. Hmm. After I, you know, that's what's hidden. It doesn't look bad. Like... Maybe there was a sense of loss or something dealing with that. 18, 718, 9, 7. Like I said, Queen of Wands upright though. Mm, the abundance, the queen of the ocean. Empress is not though. So a mother or a wife. The empress is, there's drama. <laughs> Oh my. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. What do we have for this Jupiter energy? I don't even know. I don't even know if this is going to make any sense. I'm just reading the cards and letting it come out. All right. Jupiter, final one. Hope, <laughs> wisdom, the star, Aquarian energy, healing, an abundance of it. Like, Jupiter, wisdom. There's even some Taurus energy. Because I'm seeing there's a pentacle. There's earth energy too. Underneath there. And she's seeing the light coming up out of the some the emotions, even coldness. The Jupiter, maybe you're even seeing it. The planet. The wisdom. Wow. Healing. Seven of Cups, possibilities, even looking at the different possibilities. This is even that Piscean energy again. <clears throat> of where, what brings you this even, this love, seven one. The love's in reverse. So it's feeling like Seven of Cups is looking at options, feeling like there is a loss of love. King of Wands is in reverse. Hmm. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let me see if I can get. There's also Cancer sign here, and Capricorn. One seven seven one, five of Wands. There might have been fighting, like I'm, the upside of your head by your temple right above it. Mm hmm. Um, and competition. There's a lot of burden. Okay, King of Swords is upright. Aquarius, masculines, or uh, Libra Gemini, but with ambition to communicate and confront without fear. It could be a little cutting, but it's straight to the point. It's going, you know what I mean? This is confronting uh, something that's looming in the shadows. Well, there's passion, uh, even regarding um, parenting and fatherhood. I know this is weird, but I'm growth. Because I'm the seahorse always is gonna bring that to me, and we've got masculine energy here, coming out of feeling bored. Oh, this is great. So maybe there is um, mm, the boredom is in reverse. <laughs> oh, overcoming temptation, even the devil's in reverse. The bo the the vortex, the vortex. Something that traps you in. That an apathy. Overcoming that. And even coming in and, and 
there's a proposal being compassionate, loving, bringing this cup of love and joy, the dolphins. Maybe they want to apologize even um, for creating some type of conflict in, in the communication. And um, even when they were younger or something, or you were younger, and they were impatient with you, maybe. They might have been cutting, or there was an impatience. And lack of travel or lack of communication, everything got stopped. I'm, I really sense a lot of slowdown, 4-8 even. And not even, no, no thank yous, no gratitude, no, uh, no blessing. I, I don't know, like feeling like they're on, they can't travel, they, they can't communicate, they can't take this action and they're not, they don't have the financial backing to do it. Eight, nine, Leo's again. Uh, we got nine, 10. So this completion is about uh, feeling completely supported and loved even after a loss. Look at this, three of swords. Someone really feeling hurt uh, or heartbreak, heartache over a loss. And it could have to do with, you know, someone in your family, friends. Ten of Cups is completely... And, and you know how that happens. You know what I'm talking about? So when tragedy... Okay, and or something is heartbreaking that happens to us, to others. The community and people around us, they, they do pour in love and support um, to overcome something. Dependence on what it is, loss. Over, and, and maybe finding out someone about deception or someone stealing, someone is heartbroken about some truth they find out. Hmm, three, seven. Regarding uh, the Empress, um, someone's, maybe someone stole from a mother, from a wife, or she, they, she did, because she in reverse, creating drama, um, gossiping, slander. She's, this woman should be, so she has children, I'm just saying, or she's a boss, or, you know what I mean? A wife, she should, uh, but she's gossipy, slanderish. Um, causes drama, and then turns around and acts like she's so generous and kind and giving. Uh, six, seven, maybe even some Gemini or Virgo, Libra. I don't know. Three of Wands, um, waiting for this right timing. There is there is a sense of waiting. This is a karmic thing. I'm seeing it as like waiting for, it's reaping what you sow. Seven of Pentacles to me is also the time, the effort, where you plant, plant your money, your effort, where you're building, putting your focus on. And then being patient, waiting for it to grow. Or for something to come in. This is usually waiting for the right timing. Or something to come in. Yeah, the passion. Someone doesn't have the passion. Queen of Wands. Seven, three, three, seven. She's in reverse. I'm feeling stuck in her head. The Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Coming. Stuck in her head. Because of there's eight. Oh, wow, wow, wow. 86 maybe specific leo's 86 uh bad memories of childhood past soul people that she thought as soulmates even 62 even gemini's um 88 eight. wow 62 partnership in reverse so this is having a sense of um Things that happened before, that it's like a PTSD because they're feeling stuck and trapped in uh, some bad memories, bad childhood, 
um, even dealing with partners, um, whether it be friendship, um, romantic or, um, you know, siblings, partnership in reverse. And, and I'm saying this is like, it created, it, the anxiety created the de a depression of uh, always sleeping, like not sleepless nights, not uh, unable to not, but constantly sleeping and feeling like they couldn't, there was no second chance with that one. They felt abandoned, loss of money. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Five, four, abandonment. The reward though <laughs> was, is this little child and new creative stuff in your home. Happen to be creative working on your home, even though there's unhappiness. So I'm saying this, a child or a Leo energy, actually a Leo child ready to done with resting and ready to take action and there's a sense of like um what is this there's a sense of alchemy uh, right through these heavier emotions through art and creativity um even with children or this child needs to do that or you're doing that to help um heal any of those childhood wounds or past life things. Sometimes this can be past life things that goes deeper, okay? Five, four. Feeling abandoned or lost, uh, but getting a home, it's so weird, but like abandoned, at, like left alone even at home. I don't know, that's interesting. Okay, that's what I got for that, that is, um, that's interesting. <laughs> okay, Aquarius is. I'm going to get a hidden truth. Underneath there, I see the timing just wasn't right for us. And you speak to me through music. Okay. Um, that's what those ones show. I'm going to shuffle it and see what one wants to come out for the Aquarius energies. I do want to get that. Where did I put the dang charms I'm like where did I put my charms I wanted to get them again I guess I'm not supposed to oh I see where they are I set them off okay I see the timing just wasn't right for us once again okay the ten of wands ten nine one oh nine even maybe it's dealing with was specifically cat oh my gosh <laughs> I shuffled it in the same card that's yours for sure it was about not the right timing um, I replay our conversations over and over again, maybe even over here with the hermit energy, potentially thinking about it. I'm saying that's what I said. They stuck in their head. You are them. These ones also came out. I regret lying to you. Oh, and I wonder if you're happy without me. Dang. Okay, I might flow this all the way through, okay? Even this Virgo energy, okay? Moon sign, Pisces, Cancer, or um, we're playing conversations. I'm telling you, that's that PTSD thing that's going on. That's, so what is this destiny, will of fortune? Someone's on the, a good karmic thing. Being honest, even, that, and regretting lying even to you, Capricorns, potentially, okay? And I wonder if you're happy without me. The moon, the illusion... Pisces cancer sign as well Aquarian so to get how it resonates that 1018 keep coming up a lot too 109 1009 okay now specifically over here by the moon energy what are these other emotions uh okay so if we're dealing with a Pisces or a cancer sign or even Virgo that's why I'm gonna pull in with that I don't react when people mention you yeah they keep it on the deck like this is even the moon upright is keeping these emotions to themselves. You know, the, they only share it when they're alone. That's when it's released. You know, it's not in front of others. And that's when they're alone. That's when the thoughts come through. <laughs> okay. Okay. What else? One more for the moon energy. Thank you. I remember every detail of that day. 
huh? So, whatever day that is, maybe I had to do it with Hawaii, with sea salt. I don't know. I'm just saying. The mermaid. Hmm. Maybe there was drinking involved in rum. Sagittarian energy in Aquarius. Capricorn. Okay. Over by the Capricorn. What what else did what they like to say to Capricorn? Anything else for Capricorn? I feel you even though we are apart. Right? Regret lying. And I wonder if you're happy. And over here by this Jupiter wisdom, this hope and healing. I want to feel that way again. The hopefulness. Oh, we want to feel hopeful about life. And, and traveling. There's, um, what else do I got here? 10, 15, 16, 17, 9, 17. Oh, wow. 17, 18, 18, 17. Maybe even when they're younger, when you're younger or right about to go to college or high school level or something. Feeling young and inspired uh, and hopeful for the future. All right. One more final thing for all. For Aquarius, anything else? Aquarius, this one. I left when I saw you with someone. Hmm. Heavy burden. All right. Anything else? Moon energy. This one. Oh, wow. I left before you could leave me. Oh, wow. So... They left. They left. They left you. Mm. Before you can leave me. Oh, goodness. And I remember every detail of that day. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. All right, Capricorns, anything else? All right, Capricorns, anything else? This one, I want you. I feel you though we're apart. I hope you're out. Ah, they want you. I want you. <laughs> and I want. I like how, okay, I'm paying attention. You know, those. So, there's a lot of I, oh, I, or the, right? I, I, I. They're over here. They left. I left. It says. I want. Hmm. Want, want left hmm my life is not as together as it seems all right that is what i have for you guys um that one was fascinating and went a different little twist than i'm i was planning um i don't want it to go too long we're already 37 i'm trying to uh shorten these down all right thank you aquariuses uh capricorns and moon signs for all you different who are tuned into this check my uh channel for other videos and i hope this helped give you some some understanding clarification or bring you to ease at least the the star was the final card so the hope and the healing which is beautiful right aquarius all right thanks so much Bye bye